Okay, so uh, we have here um, the XTM 201 DI machine and we're going to do some practical welding with it and we're going to demonstrate the difference between uh, MIG welding and TIG welding with uh, sheet metal work. We've got a, a Vespa scooter here that needs some uh, welding work on it and we're going to use both processes to demonstrate the pros and cons of each uh, process. MIG welding, main advantage, it's very fast minimal heat input. The disadvantage is you always uh, have a, a deposition, a build-up of weld material on the plate that you, if, if it's a visible weld you may have to grind back. So there's maybe more finishing work involved with, with MIG um, and it will also deal with small gaps in, in, in the material. Uh, TIG welding, not as fast, so a little bit more heat input into the job, but you can work uh, with and without filler metal, and even with filler metal, you can produce a very flat weld um, on steel. So uh, areas where it's gonna be difficult to finish afterwards, or very time consuming to finish afterwards, you can get away with uh, using TIG welding because it will reduce the amount of finishing later. So it may be a slower process to, to do in the first place, but it may uh, reduce the overall time to do the job. The other advantage uh, uh, with TIG welding is if you turn the power down low enough, you can actually use it as a heating process. So if you, you need to form the metal or uh, a little bit, you can actually use the TIG welding to just heat the metal and soften it to allow you to form or shape it in, in situ. So it's got uh, some different sort of uh, advantages and disadvantages compared to MIG. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use the MIG process. Uh, We've got some repair pieces already installed and we're going to do some uh, spot welds with the MIG process and then we'll move on to uh, demonstrating the TIG welding process in a slightly different position. Okay, so we've got the machine on now. Uh, we've dialed it in using the Synergic uh, settings. So we've set it up 0.8 wire and we've set the material thickness, the weld thickness uh, of the sheet metal to 0.8 and the machine has given us these uh, settings uh, ready, ready to go. So we're going to go straight on to the job now and, and, and do some welds. So uh, you can see here the repair piece that's been put in. It actually goes under these two existing pieces of metal. There were three spot welds were there which have been drilled out to allow us to insert the new piece. So using the MIG torch now we're going to fill in those spot welds to, to weld the new piece to this top surface uh, and then we'll turn it over and, uh, and, and work on the other side. So we've completed the three uh, spot welds there. They will just get ground back uh, flush. So we're going to turn it over now and do some work on the other side of that piece. So we've, uh, we've turned it over upside down and this is the underside of the patch. You can see the three spot welds that we did on the other side. Um, so now we're going to weld the inside edge of this piece along here. It's a weld that won't be visible once it's complete. So we're just going to MIG weld with that. We won't do it in one continuous run because we get a lot of distortion. So we'll do stitches backwards and forwards until we have a continuous weld uh, in that area. Okay, so uh, we're now going to do some TIG welding on this job. Uh, we've swapped over to the, uh, the TIG torch on, on the machine and I'll show you on the front screen of the machine uh, how we set the machine ready for TIG welding. So we select the TIG function on the front, uh, TIG. Uh, the machine's already configured for the torch. 
uh, 1.6 millimeter tungsten, 2T trigger control, and then here I'm going to dial in the material thickness. I'm going to use 0.8. That takes me into the welding screen. So I've got 35 amps. Uh, Downslope, that is adjustable on this machine. I'm going to set that to zero because I want some quite, uh, I want to control the amount of heat. So I want, when I get to the end of the weld, I just want the power to go off very quickly. So I'm not feeding more heat into the job. So downspot at zero, and I've got seven seconds on the, the post gas, which, which should be sufficient for this job. So it's ready to go. So you can see here, we've welded this patch in uh, with MIG. Uh, using a stitch welding process. The reason for that is there was three layers here. So we use the MIG to penetrate through the layers and there's quite a big gap. Uh, the vertical section here, which is a straight butt joint, we're going to do with the TIG process. And you can see the difference in terms of where we've got a heavy buildup of uh, metal deposited here. The TIG should give us a much flatter weld with less uh, post weld finishing. So we'll, we'll just do that now. Uh, again, we'll use a series of small stitches backwards and forwards up and down the joint to control the heat input. So you can see I'm just working up and down the joint, uh, spread the heat. Uh, it's lift TIG, so touching the tungsten down, starting torch with the trigger and then uh, lifting up to draw out the arc, release the trigger, allow the post gas to run out and then move on to the next section. Just depending on the joint fit up in some areas I can manage to weld this without actually adding any filler wire. Where I am needing filler wire I'm just using a very small diameter uh, 1.2 millimeter uh, filler rod so I've got a minimum build up of uh, weld material. Uh, nearly completed, I've just this section here to do now. So hopefully you can see the difference between the MIG weld where you've got a lot more material added in compared to the TIG weld which is much less uh, material and if we get the joint fit up very we've got an uh, absolutely flat surface so minimal sort of refinishing so sm TIG welding slower process less material build up MIG welding uh, much faster but you've got more finishing to do afterwards but it is more tolerant to uh, larger gaps in, in the material Thanks for watching and uh, remember to subscribe to our channel.